Uh, hello, um, uh, this is a short tutorial uh, to show how to remove uh, a background from um, a portrait from a background uh, and put another background in. So in this case, uh, we need to take off this portrait out of this uh, blue and black background and put this one. So uh, we're going to start off by masking out our background where we will be using a quick, quick mask tool. Uh, don't worry about the, um, the mask getting into the hair, we'll sort that one out. Um, usually this tool it works well um, on straight straight lines and where there is um, like a distinct uh, color, but when color there isn't much variation, uh, it, it tends to, um, to be very difficult to detect the edge, so you just have to keep on fiddling with plus and minus. So this is the subtract. We have to subtract the sum of this so that we get the hair back. Um, but you won't get it uh, right. So what we what we gonna what we gonna do is um, we're going to use the um, uh, this tool called um, refine edge up here um, to extract the hair properly. Um, there's always been a problem uh, trying to to take to take off uh, hair um, from a background, but uh, the the tools are, are improving. Um, in CS5, we've got this refine edge, uh, which I'm going to show you just in a uh, in, in a second. Um, anyway, uh, when when we have done this we need to select the our subject so we're gonna uh, uh, command shift i to invert our mask then we come into we go to, to refine edge uh in the refine edge as you can see you can you can do it in quick uh, quick mask mode or you can change it you can do all sorts of things anyway you can do it against the black um, you can do it on white can do it on uh, black or layer. Uh, can do review layer, but in this case, I want to use them um, on layer. Um, just personal preference. Um, <coughs> first of all, um, I need to to you, you see down here. We've got a edge detection, smart radius. So I'm gonna click on that one and just move it slightly a little bit to tighten up our our mask because um, sometimes you have some fuzziness at the edge of the uh, subject but not too much it starts eating the the, the, the subject so uh, when we've done this um, this is where the, the refined edge is um, is improved so much and. Um, now we want to, to take to, to get the edge of the hair because the it has taken off all the fuzziness of the hair. So we just take this our brush, uh, make it bigger. Yeah, just select at the edge here to tell it what kind of color that we we don't want. You see. So when you when you said when you go around, go around, round, around. Round and round, just along the edge, along the edge there. Okay, and let it do the magic. You see, um, this is um now we we have our hair now a bit against our 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 nice background, um. If you're not quite happy with this, uh, you can always uh, put it, put the background back and they restart over again. But what you can do is, uh, if you go up here, there is the um, a, a rub in a razor. You can you can put back, like for example, if I didn't want this part here, I could just take it here, and I could uh, put back that background. See, it will come it will come back again. Then I will take that. My, my my brush again and try to until I get it right you see this is um what what you can do 
um, sometimes you, f you start finding that uh, maybe the color of the previous background like on, on this jacket here sometimes you find the, the colors reflecting on the subject you can decontaminate colors or in the on the cheeks here you can see a little bit of uh, navy blue there so you can you can just come here and decontaminate color and move your slider move your slider amount of color move from image so you can keep on moving decontaminating color Let's see So you, you see, if, if you go back to it down here, you see all that color coming back. If you do this, you see all that blue coming out and um, uh, it, will, it, will, it will start blending in with, the, with, the, with our new background. So uh, for outputting, I uh, usually leave it on a new layer with a layer mask so that if you feel uh, that we don't really need this background or we, we, we don't want to do that anymore, yeah, you can always revert back. You can just delete the 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 mask, but your picture will remain intact. So you just go ahead and say, okay. So this is our um, our picture now with the layer mask. So if you um, if you if you want the old, this is the old one. Uh, then with the layer mask. With the layer mask. Um, the, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.